All right, Paul Zakopoulos back. Five minutes to save you 50. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Big Data underscore Paul Z and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm going to give you another tip I came across just a little bit ago, which uh, has proven to be helpful and incredibly simple. Um, let's say you see a video in a presentation or any type of imagery. And you actually want to get the source. If I want to get imagery out of a presentation, you know, that's pretty easy because I simply go here and open the presentation and I could just copy and paste, right? Now, sometimes in copy and paste, you actually uh, lose resolution. So uh, depending if you run into that problem, then you can follow this trick to get that as well. But more importantly is like I was watching this IBM presentation and there's this really cool video on how Teva sees the future of healthcare in this partnership with IBM. And so, you know, I like that video, it's cool. I could put that in one of my presentations uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, but I don't really know how do I get it out of here. I don't copy and paste it into a video app, for example. So if I went here and I open perhaps QuickTime, so here's QuickTime, it just goes like that, right? And then maybe I say done and I go edit and there's really nothing there. So I go new movie recording and then there I am. Wow. Uh, and then uh, I got nothing to do here, right? So I don't think that that really works. So we'll just close that down. Okay, so what do you do? So take a copy of the file. You wanna never wanna work with the original file. So on Mac, I'll just go duplicate. Okay, right. and I will just rename this video extract. Okay, now go and change the name of the file. Now, PPTX has to be PPTX format, um, although I haven't really tried PPT, but when PPTX is all based on XML and it's actually a file format, it's actually a zip file. So go name that to zip. It's gonna warn you, hey, do you wanna use zip? You'll ruin it as a PPT. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We'll actually test it to show you. But now when I open this bad boy up, and if I go into PPT, and I go into media, like this will take everything in there. Here are all the slides. Here's everything, right? <clears throat> so I go into media, and look at These are all the pictures, right? So if I wanted a, that picture of Ginny, then I'd pull that out, and then there she would be. If I want to go down and find uh, any of these, then I've got them. So I got a troll around here. I believe that that would be the video. I'm gonna pull that out here. Notice I'm pulling it and they're copying it. They're just extracting, right? So I'm not hurting the zip file. Here I can open that up and I've got a very high resolution of the CEO of IBM. And here is the video. So how cool is that? So sometimes I use that um, trick to go and just look at a presentation and just see if there's any good images in there from IBM. Like I, I scavenge and, and, and crawl to find good stuff, right? And then I can just pull a bunch of stuff out versus going through every slide, copying, pasting. Uh, I just pull out like that. And then of course, we didn't really touch the integrity of this. So if I go move it back, then I'm gonna use that to PPT. It'll give me another warning, open it up and the full fidelity is there. We haven't lost anything, right? And there's the video in there. So that's uh, five minutes to save you 50. It's actually, will be save you a ton of time and it'll make your stuff look better. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.